William the Silent, the first victim of political assassination by firearm. In the 16th century, Europe was a turbulent place where religious conflicts and political struggles were common. Among the many leaders who emerged in this period, one stands out for his courage, his vision, and his tragic fate. His name was William of Orange, also known as William the Silent, the Stadtholder of the Netherlands. He was the first head of state to be assassinated by a handgun, an event that changed the course of history and shaped the destiny of a nation. William was born in 1533 in The Hague, a city in the Low Countries, a region that was then under the control of the Spanish Empire. He was raised as a Catholic, but he soon developed a tolerance and respect for other faiths, especially Protestantism, which was spreading rapidly in the region. He also became a skilled diplomat and a loyal servant of the Spanish king, Philip II. However, things changed in the 1560s when Philip II decided to enforce a harsh policy of religious persecution against the Protestants in the Low Countries. This sparked a rebellion known as the Eighty Years' War or the Dutch Revolt in which William played a leading role. He became the leader of the rebels who fought for their freedom of conscience and their independence from Spain. He also became the stadtholder or the governor of several provinces in the region which later formed the core of the Dutch Republic. William was a remarkable leader who inspired his followers with his calm and resolute demeanor. He was nicknamed William the Silent because he was secretive about his plans and he rarely spoke in public. He was also a master of propaganda who used pamphlets, songs, and symbols to rally support for his cause. He was especially fond of the color orange which became the emblem of the Dutch resistance and the national color of the Netherlands. William's defiance of the Spanish king made him a wanted man. In 1580, Philip II issued a ban on him, declaring him an outlaw and offering a large reward for his capture or death. This attracted the attention of many assassins who tried to kill William but failed. One of them was Balthasar Gerard, a French Catholic fanatic who was motivated by religious zeal and personal greed. He managed to infiltrate William's household in Delft, posing as a petitioner. On July 10, 1584, he waited for William to come down the stairs and then shot him twice with a pistol, killing him instantly. William's assassination was a shocking and unprecedented event. It was the first time that a head of state was killed by a firearm, a weapon that was relatively new and rare at the time. It also marked the beginning of a new era of political violence, in which firearms became the preferred tools of assassins and terrorists. The assassination had a profound impact on the world as it demonstrated the vulnerability and fragility of political leaders and the potential of a single individual to alter the course of history. However, William's death was not the end of his legacy, but rather the catalyst for its continuation. He became a martyr whose sacrifice galvanized the Dutch people and strengthened their resolve to fight for their independence. His last words, God have mercy on my soul and on this poor people, became a rallying cry for the rebels who continued to resist the Spanish oppression. His son, Maurice of Nassau, succeeded him as the stadtholder and led the Dutch Republic to victory in the war. William's vision of a free and tolerant nation was realized and the Netherlands emerged as one of the most prosperous and influential states in Europe.